Park in Boston, and a rookie has come to town. He is tall and strong and young. The California Angels, his team, is in a hot pennant race, and tonight they need a win from their rookie pitcher. But he is facing the Boston Red Sox the best hitting team in the American League. The old green stadium is overflowing with diehard Red Sox fans as the rookie takes the mound. Noisy diehard Red Sox fans, but the rookie knows that he, he has to ignore the crowd, that he has to concentrate on tonight's game. The rookie has an easy first two innings, but then the Red Sox loads the bases in the third. There are two outs, and the cleanup hitter, Mike Green Wells, strides to the plate. The crowd claps and cheers, begging their slugger to get a big hit. The rookie takes a deep breath. The hitter waits his bat up and and ready, and the rookie strikes him out with his best fastball. As the game goes on, the the rookie strikes out more Red Sox hitters. Star, star first baseman Nick Eskey, future Hall of Famer Dwight Evans, rising star Ellis Burks in the end. In the end, the rookie strikes out seven batters. He gives up four harmless hits and most importantly, no runs. When the rookie gets the final out of the game, giving his team four to zero victory, he starts to walk off the mound. All over Fenway Park, the Red Sox fans stand and applaud, cheering the rookie off the field. Their team must, their team may have lost, but they know that this is that they have seen someone very special. That this pitcher is a pitcher. This is Jim Abba. Now I'm going to read my tenth birthday. My birthday is on New Year's Eve. I had to get up in the morning to do my Saturday's papers, which was very easy. Then I had to wait about two hours for my mom, my dad, and my brother to get up. When they got up, we had donuts, and then finally I got to open my presents. I got four CDs, a 1995 football calendar, and a sand art, but that was only from my family. Next was my grandma's present. She gave she came about 11 o'clock. She got me a Bible fun book, a personal radio cassette player, and $20. At 1.30, Scott came over and we picked Chris up to see the Jungle Book. After the movie, we had pizza and cake. After that, I got to open my presents from Chris and Scott. Scott gave me $5 and Chris gave me the movie Jurassic Park, which we watched that night. After the movie, we took them home, and that was my 10th birthday.